Greetings, tax tip lovers, and welcome to this week's top five planning tips in just five minutes. Come gather around people to ponder the story of Julie and Jim, who've been well and truly stitched up by an estate planning expert, which is of itself curious as what they really needed was legacy planning, and there's a whole world of difference. Estate planning relates to the distribution of your assets after you've passed on. It's typically the domain of financial planners whose real agenda likely is to sell you their investment funds. Well, Jim and Julie appear to have had 6% deducted from all their investments and will be paying nearly 2% for the rest of their lives, but they did get a free will. Here's the thing. Experience dictates that legacy planning is what wealthy individuals and business owners really need, and that requires a range of specialist skills because legacy planning represents who you are, not just what you own. In short, it's setting up your legacy for future generations. It's about preserving family history, establishing business succession, setting up trusts or foundations and powers of attorney considering charitable donations to the causes you believe in, and much more. As George Orwell said, a normal human being does not want the kingdom of heaven. He wants life on earth to continue. The hardest part is not the doing, it's how to get started. So let's throw a saddle on the Rethink.tax gift horse, and here we go. With a little help from Simon and Gunfarkel from February 1966, as we count down the five steps. Static at this week's number five is, I'm sitting in the railway station. Stop avoiding uncomfortable conversations. Here's the opportunity to share with your heirs, your values and your hopes for how your beneficiaries will use, preserve and grow the wealth you worked hard to build during your lifetime. Down at this week's number four is, got a ticket for my destination. Remember, your legacy is about more than money. It's not just about the numbers. Focus on passing on life principles and how to deal with future conflicts when you're not around to mediate. Just inside this week's top three is, on a tour of one night stands. Discuss the emotional impact of inheritance. Two of life's biggest crises are losing someone you love and a sudden financial change. A new entry at this week's number two is my suitcase and guitar in hand. Put safeguards in place. Shit happens. Sure, your sons and daughters are great at absolutely everything or not. But they'll marry and maybe divorce or become bankrupt or any one of plenty of potential vulnerabilities. So consider family trusts and powers of attorney, etc. Staying at number one is the all time classic and every stop is neatly planned for a poet and a one man band. Well, we all die. The goal isn't to live forever. The goal is to create something that will, as Chuck Palahniuk said. So formalize your conversations, write them down or record them, get off your ass, have a detailed discussion with a chartered tax advisor, then a specialist lawyer and get it done. Let's just deal with a couple of myths. You will not shorten your time on earth by addressing your mortality. And anyone who charges 6% or any percentage of your investments may not be entirely focused on your best interests. I'll leave the summing up to Steve Jobs. Death is the destination we all share. No one has ever escaped it, and that's as it should be, because death is, very likely, the single best invention of life. It's life's change agent. It clears out the old to make way for the new. OK, that's it. It's time to take action to sort your legacy tax planning, and here's how. You can do nothing and stay in the exact same place and pay a shed load of tax unnecessarily, or you can follow the link above for a free Power Hour review with property tax experts 
who are ex-PWC and ex-HMRC and will make your property tax planning like it was our own. And that's our take on legacy and tax planning and why we believe you need to take action, tax tippers. So volume up, time to let Paul Simon and Art Garfunkel tell it better than I ever could. All right, stay bright. Catch you again for breakfast next week. Ta-ra. <laughs>